let Garmin show you how to install your quick release and through axle bike onto your new Tax Neo 3M trainer. For this video, we will be using the pre-installed 11 speed cassette. You can use the link in the description below to read the online manual if you need to install a different cassette. First, unfold your Tax Neo 3M trainer on a flat surface. Tilt the trainer and slowly lower the legs until the orange tabs turn blue. Repeat this process for the other leg. Now, it's time to remove the rear wheel of your bike. We will first remove the rear wheel from a 135 mm quick release bike axle. Ensure your bike chain is on the smallest cog of the bike's cassette. Then, open the quick release and remove the wheel. You will need to swap out the end caps using the blue end cap tool before proceeding with the installation if you are using a 130 mm quick release axle. Now, install the quick release and end caps onto the trainer. Remove the cap and spring from the quick release axle. Insert the quick release axle into the non-drive side of the trainer. Replace the spring and cap onto the end of the quick release axle. Tighten the cap ensuring appropriate tension. Next, lower the rear dropouts of the bike onto the end caps of the trainer while also ensuring the bike chain is on the smallest cog of the trainer. Then, lock the quick release lever. Make sure the lever is not touching your bike frame. For through axle bikes with a 142 by 12 millimeter through axle, install the 12 millimeter through axle end caps. The Tax Neo 3M also comes with end caps that will fit 148 millimeter through axles. Place your bike onto the trainer and put the chain onto the smallest cassette cog. Then insert your through axle on the non-drive side before tightening it with your hand. Now that you have installed your bike on your Tax Neo 3M trainer, you can add your front wheel support for a more natural riding position. There are two sides of the support, one with a max size of 30 millimeters and another with a max size of 61 millimeters. The 61 millimeter size is for mountain bikes. Line up and place your front axle with the etching lines in the middle of the front wheel support. Pedal the bike to check if the front wheel is in the correct spot. If your wheel is rolling off the front or rear of the support with the motion plates enabled, you'll want to move to a more central position. And that's it. You have successfully installed your bike onto your Tax Neo 3M trainer. It's almost time to train your way to the front of the pack. Thanks for watching. For more help, visit support.garmin.com.